Well, now that it's winter time, I guess I could finally put all this hide to use. Just grab all this, and I guess we're gonna make some hide armor today. I would love it if we could go out and just not freeze, because last winter that was actually a pain. So I think it's just the animal hide and some cloth. So let me throw some of that on there and start crafting. And I'm not gonna have enough of this to make a full armor set, but a few pieces is better than no pieces. Plus I got the hoodie, and then I'm also gonna take a look and see what kind of soup I can make that might give me a warm bonus. There we go, got some on. I think I got four pieces on. Up, oh, hold on. Sounds like we have a visitor. Oh, we did have a visitor. He just got hit with my uh, my spike ball. Oh yeah, we got a few visitors out there. Come over to this side, guys. Where's my, oh yeah, it's there. Come to this side. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, don't do that. Yep, there you go. You just got stabbed. These guys will never learn. You know what? There's a blueprint for a spotlight. We should definitely find that today. Although I have other plans for the day. So if we have time, I'll try to find the blueprint for the spotlight. But uh, today is going to be an interesting one because I plan on getting an armor upgrade. I should be able to build a device without having to have the artifact that allows me to upgrade any armor that I have. Oh, did you just throw a spear at me? You don't do that. You mind your manners when you're on my property. This guy keeps walking into the spike ball. Man, they are dumb. Let's reset this. There we go. And uh, are you set? Yeah, you're set. But nobody walked into you. Okay. Well, the good news is, is I'm actually not freezing. I've been out here for a minute or two. Hey, Calvin. Way to wake up. We're under attack, by the way. You might want to help out. Yeah, and so far, we're not getting cold, so that's awesome. Maybe it's a combination of the hoodie plus the fact that... Oh, now we're getting cold. Okay, well, it lasted for a little bit longer than it normally does. I should say we lasted a little bit longer than we normally do in the cold before we get cold. But yeah, it looks like we're going to need either more of this hide armor or we're going to need um, something that's going to give us a little bit of a buff so we stay warm. Also, it's nighttime, so maybe that has something to do with it as well. Let me see. Uh, what can we make? Looks like, is there any kind of warm bonus? Yeah, the, the very second recipe, cooked ramen noodles. It does have a warm bonus. I think that's probably what that, it looks like a little flame. And there's also something called eggnog, which has the same flame, but has three arrows above it. So that'll definitely, definitely keep you very warm, but it requires turtle eggs and I have none of those. So ramen noodles it is, to which I should have a few ramen noodles. Throw them in. How many would you like me to throw in exactly? There we go. And while that's cooking, let's just go to sleep. Hopefully make it daytime and then we'll start our adventure. Ta-da! Daytime. Okay, grab the cooking pot. Go ahead and drink a little bit of it. That'll give us a little food, give us a little hydration. And now we have the cook buff activated. Cooked ramen noodles. I'm hoping that keeps us warm. What the hell am I hearing? What am I hearing out here? I'm hearing something and I don't like it. What is it? What's that noise? Oh, it's you! Still got visitors! People out here just getting pummeled! Oh, cool, we got an envelope. Put these bodies over here for now. Reset the trap. Man, this trap was a good call. Same with the multi-trap. Worked awesome last episode, and I think we're gonna need these traps to work really well tonight. Because when we get back, we're gonna build that armor upgrade, and I think when we activate it, it's gonna bring in a bunch of enemies. So our, t our traps are really gonna have to carry its weight today. But first things first, we've actually got to find it. We basically need to go where we ended the last episode, which is over there by that third maintenance bunker that we found, and we got the revolver. Over there, we should find a cave next to it. And in that cave, I'm hoping to find a pickaxe. We're gonna need a pickaxe so we can start mining for solophyte. Solophyte's gonna be used in a bunch of things, but uh, for this, we're gonna need the solophyte in order to upgrade any armor that we put into it. And then also, while we're over at that cave nearby, we should find the blueprint for the armor upgrade. So that's today's goal. There is also, like I said, a spotlight. Speaking of spotlight, there's one in my face. Can't see anything. And that spotlight should be close to where we're doing stuff today, so we might make a detour and go get the spotlight blueprint. Good God, this sun is so bright. Okay, I think the cave we're looking for is straight ahead. And this was the maintenance bunker. We're flying over it right now. That's where we were at last episode. Actually, the maintenance bunker was right down that hill there. What we're looking for is a, a cave pretty close by. According to my GPS, we are nearly there. 
And I think we should probably bring her down now. I, we're about to land basically right on the cake. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Where'd it go? Okay, I clipped a tree. <laughs> Got it. All right, how close are we? Man, I am still cold and wet, even with the buff, even with a hoodie on, even with four pieces of animal fur on. Are you serious, game? That's pretty disappointing. I was really hoping that the hoodie and the soup and the animal fur would have actually worked. It doesn't seem to work very well. But I guess that's why they have a better recipe for warmth, the eggnog. So I guess if we ever find any turtle eggs, we should uh, make that. Let's go down here. I think this is the cave we're looking for. I hear water. Yep. Definitely hear water. Probably gonna have to get wet in this cave. Oh God, those are feet. Anybody got a foot fetish? That's just for you, okay? Enjoy that. Um, yeah, squeeze through. I guess we're going down here. Oh yeah, waterfall, water. Do I wanna go, oh God. Freaking bats. Do I wanna go down there? Do I wanna go this way? Don't actually know. So we'll just go this way for, oh, <laughs> you got me. You got me, guys. Oh no, this is just a pile of human mush I'm standing in, I think. I don't think this is rocks at all. Okay, there's nothing in here. I have chosen the wrong way. It's just dead bodies. Drink some more of my soup here. Yeah, hopefully that'll get my energy up a little bit. Food and water back up, keep it going. All right, that's good. Uh, I see some boxes over here, a little bit of supplies, rope, yeah, all the rope we find today, I should save. I'm gonna make some bone armor when I get home, but I'm also gonna need some more tape. Hopefully we find some tape today, too. Yep, I guess the only way to go is down. Here we go. Oh, I thought it was a slide. Okay, good. Maybe, maybe we stay out of the water so we don't freeze. Oh, it is a waterfall. It's a good thing I got off of that and came down this way. I probably would have hurt myself. Okay, yeah, rebreather time. We're getting wet. In we go. Okay. Oh, good. More dead bodies. Let's see where this spits out at. You know, I haven't found an oxygen tank in a long time. And it does look, according to my meter, like I am running out of oxygen. I may have some spare ones on me, but I just... I haven't seen one in ages. I hope I have a spare one on me. Wow, this is a long tunnel. Oh, I think we've reached the end here. Out we go. All right. Where am I at? Looks like we can go backwards. Or possibly forwards. Um, hmm. All right. Get out the flashlight axe. Let's see what's this way. Oh, I heard a noise. What did I hear? Oh, we've got a rope that goes down. And we've got this thing. Oh, is this it? I think I found it. Is this, am I in the right cave? This isn't what I was looking for. <laughs> this is, this is not what I was looking, I'm in the wrong cave. This is an item. I think this is a weapon upgrade. This is how you upgrade your weapons. Yeah, I was looking for a cave that was gonna have the pickaxe in it. Not this thing, but okay, we'll take it. We can upgrade our weapons now. So that was a good find, an accidental find. And like I said, I'm in the complete wrong cave now. Uh, I want to maybe... Can you go backwards? Doesn't look like we can go anywhere in this direction. Okay, this is where we came out of the water from. And then right there is where we just got the blueprint. So let's go this way. Uh, and see what else this cave has to offer. Oopsie. Oh boy, going down a slide. Ah. Water. Oh, I see a cannibal ahead. Is there anything underwater here? Yeah, there's another way we can go straight down. I'm gonna take on this cannibal first. Where did he go? He was right here at the water's edge and now I don't see him anywhere. Maybe he drowned. Yep, he's dead in the water, drowned. They are not bright, are they? They are just a bunch of dummies. And as we now know, former guests of the resort. Hey, look, an oxygen tank, sweet, found one. We got a grenade in here. Some rifle ammo collected. Ooh, is there possibly a rifle? Because I have been collecting rifle ammo, but I have not found a rifle yet. Maybe we're gonna find a rifle in this very cave. Okay. Maybe we're not gonna find a rifle in this cave at all. 
I didn't accidentally just pick up a rifle and didn't realize it, did I? Doesn't look like- Oh my god, I totally forgot I had this chainsaw! Yeah, next time I need to get wood, I'm using that chainsaw. And maybe we should use it as a weapon from time to time, that could be pretty fun. Yeah, I don't see a rifle anywhere. Alright, we still had one way we can go, which was down here. Let's go! Darkness and wetness is all we find in here. And dead bodies. Naturally. Um, yeah, we'll keep going this way. I think this is, I, I feel like I got turned around for a second. Hopefully I did not. Let's just keep going this way. Oh boy, a left and a right. Are you serious? Oh yeah, and these are two separate ways. I thought maybe they would connect. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to jump back in the water and check that other path. See where it goes. Looks like we're going up here though. Yeah, let me get out of this water. I'm freezing. That's better. Okay, what do we have in here? Wow. There's nothing in here. Looks like it's just kind of a dead end. Yeah, as far as I can tell, it's just, uh, it's just a dead end. And a dead body. Nowhere to go. Uh, but... Maybe there's another bit of land I can get on. Ah, there is! Look at this! Where the heck does this go? More water. And what about on the other side before I go that way? Anything over here? Nope. Okay. Back, back in the water. I'm still going to have to backtrack, though, because there was that left pathway when we were underwater that I didn't check to see where it went. Maybe I should backtrack before I get too far. Let me just take a peek. What's that? Why is it all lit up over there? We should go check that out. I'm so distracted right now. I'm so distracted. We've got bodies. And, uh... Hey, it's the pickaxe! Alright, give me that. Sweet! Well, that's what we were looking for today, was the pickaxe. Ugh. Yeah, I am in the right cave. The cave I wanted to find had the pickaxe in it. Um, and then if we want to find the blueprint for the armor upgrade, it's not in a cave at all. Well, it might be, but it's towards the beach, close by here. So yeah, I'm on the right track still. So we just keep breaking this, and I think I automatically collect the Solophyte. It goes right into my inventory. I've got six so far. Okay, I can't carry any more Solophyte. So, we should have a bag with 20 Solophyte in it. Also, our pickaxe can be used as a weapon against the cannibals and mutants and such, and it looks like it's got a pretty fast swing speed, but not a lot of damage, and pretty good blocking as well. But when you compare it to the damage of the Firefighter's Axe, I just can't get rid of this thing. I've got to keep using it. I think the uh, Firefighter's Axe is my ride or die. Now, before we go too much further, this is where we came from, right? Yeah, I want to backtrack, and I want to see where that other underwater path would have taken us. Oh, God. Wait, maybe maybe I'm not going the right direction. I don't remember seeing you guys on the way up here. Hold on. Yeah. Uh-huh. Get out of my life. Ow, he knocked me over. Whoa. Well, the deer are- Oh, God. Okay, the deer armor sucks. Let's just be clear on that for a second. Oh! Did he just knock me unconscious? Oh, I got one shot by that dude. I'm pretty sure I had full health and one piece of armor still on. And he just did some sort of spinning tornado attack on me. Put me inside of an egg sack in this very cave, and I don't appreciate that. Time to make some boner. Oh my god, I left all of my boner. <laughs> Let's get some medicine in us. Uh, maybe an energy drink. Maybe a little bit of, uh, let's see, what do we have to eat? Some cat food? Maybe some cat food? Oh god, do I hear a cannibal? Let's find him in my bag so he can't mess with me right now. Cat food, eat it. Alright, I've just got to sit here in my bag until I heal all the way up. And I definitely hear a cannibal nearby, so we're gonna have to deal with that. You know what? Desperate times calls for desperate measures. I'm gonna make leaf armor. I don't know how much that's gonna protect me, but it's gotta be better than nothing. And I think it's gonna make it harder for them to detect me. And I have a ton of leaves, and I have a ton of rags, and that's all it costs, so... Let's make some. Essentially, this should be like a ghillie suit, I'm hoping. Put it all on. All right, a full set of leaf armor. <laughs> How about that? Okay, where am I? That's a problem. I don't actually know where I'm at right now. But there's some supplies here. So let's crack these open. 
get some stuff, some wire there. And let's just forge forward. Or backwards, I don't care. Let's just go in a direction. Okay, that's a rope. Do I really want to go up that? Because there's a pool of water back here. Maybe we can back... I, don't, I want to make sure I'm going back. We might just have to come back in this cave and start all over again. Because I have no idea where I'm at right now. Uh, it actually looks like you, there's nowhere to go. There's no diving. This is really shallow. So I guess we'll go up. Yeah. And I am up. Uh, meat, I don't want it because every time I take meat from a cave, it spoils super quick and then I eat it by accident and do damage to myself. I think we're out of here. I mean, that's kind of cool and all, but yeah, we need to go back in. I'm going back in. I mean, I got what I came for. I definitely wanted the pickaxe and we got it. We even got something I didn't realize we were going to get today. And that's a weapons upgrade, uh, I guess, machine or something like that. Oh, is this a camp? Maybe we shouldn't be here. Hold on. Let me just steal stuff real quick and we'll get out of here. Is there anything else to steal? Doesn't look like it. All right. But you never know what else is in there. There was a whole nother path we could have gone while we were swimming. And by golly, I'm going back in and we're going to figure out what we may have missed. Because maybe we missed something. Can y'all see me? I'm wearing ghillie suit. I have a ghillie suit. There's four of them. I think they, I think they see me. I'm just going to run by them. Excuse me, coming through. Now, did they see me? Yeah, they're not really chasing me. There's one coming after me. Huh, maybe that worked. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. We are back at the cave entrance. Down we go. All right, going down the river again. And that's the waterfall. So let's not just fall down it. Let's go down this way, nice and easy. And then that should take us to, uh, hey, what's this stuff? Oh, nice. Oxygen tank. Oh, I am full on oxygen tanks. Good. Good. But this should take us to where we dive again. So let's go for a dive. Oh, it just replaced my air canister automatically. Nice. So we're full again. Just like the batteries in the flashlight. It'll replace it when it gets low. Okay, we're out of the water. Where do we go from here? Because there was a second water hole that we had to dive in and then that's when we found the split paths. Let me see what is this way. Okay, so there's that and then there's this. Oh yeah, this was where we found, what did we find in here? I think this is where we found the blueprint at. I do want to double check just to make sure we didn't miss anything. So let me just go down this rope. Sorry that we're redoing the, okay. Did I walk right past? So down here, I think, is where we found... Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Hold on a second. Are you holding on still? Are you waiting? I don't remember any of this. I think we probably found that blueprint and then just kind of left. I'm hearing noises. Yeah, I don't remember any of this. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, we missed a whole section. Yeah, look at all this. Yeah, some supplies here that we missed. Maybe we didn't miss these boxes. I do remember breaking over, open some boxes, but one thing we certainly did miss, look at this. We backtrack this way and then go over here. Uh, I don't think we went this way. Look at all these crosses. You know what that usually means. Artifact. Did we walk right past an artifact? Holy crap. I am so glad that we came back in this cave. Yeah, I definitely did. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go, baby. Oh, I can see it sizzling back there. Artifact piece, got it. How many of those do we have now? One and two. And three. We've got three pieces of the artifact now. Uh, we need seven total. Four more to find. Now you gotta be real careful when you're going in these caves, man. God, you can miss so much. In fact, it's kind of making me wonder if we've missed anything. But I've been very thorough, which is why I decided to come back in this cave, because we still gotta go through that water and uh, go down the pathway we didn't go. It would be nice if you put the artifact in your pocket now. Stop looking at it. Put it away. Thank you. Here's the split. All right, let's go left this time and see where this takes us. Uh, no, nowhere? Oh, an air canister. But definitely nowhere. 
We came back in this game to check out the left. Turns out we didn't need to come back in this game at all, but I am super glad that we did because we totally missed the artifact. And uh, who knows, maybe we missed something on the right-hand side. We're gonna go back up to the surface now. And this is where we got attacked by cannibals, so hopefully this time I don't die to them. We hop across here, and we go this way. Back into the water. Upsy doodles. All right. We have a mutant waiting for us, and that is where we got the pickaxe up there, so we are definitely back where we should be. Where did that mutant go? Because I got something for Oh, God, I missed. Reload. Just keep it moving while I'm reloading. Okay. Here you are, and... Oh, did I hit him? I think I hit him. Don't think I killed him. But I do think I hit him. Yeah, he's trying to run. Hold still. I'm gonna hit him again. Is he dead? Do you want to die? Here, I'm just gonna do this now. There we go. We got him. Give me those arrows back. Give me your mutant armor. Yep, this is where we got the pickaxe and the solo fight. Uh, maybe we should go... I don't know, this way? But also... Yeah, there's nothing... There's nowhere else to go but this way. Uh, there's the mutant that probably killed me last time. Reloading bow. Locating mutant. Where'd you go? There you are. Nope, that's a ladder. Where is he? There he oh god, he did the thing again! He did the stupid tornado punch! At least he didn't kill me this time. Oh! God, he knocked off all my armor with that move. Whatever that move is, is ridiculous. Holy crap. Yeah, hit him. Killed him. Good. Grief, man. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead and put on this mutant armor because I have 10 at home, so I don't feel like I'm wasting this. I want to save mutant armor for when we go into, like, one of the final caves. Final couple caves. I can wear mutant armor in some of the tougher caves that we still have ahead of us. But... For now, I am putting those four pieces on. All right, then for all I know, this is probably just gonna dump us out. We have completed this cave, but maybe there's more to find. Yep, this might be the rope that takes us out of here. Let's see, up we go. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, maybe, maybe not. What is this? More water. Jesus, yeah, I jumped from way up there, landed in that. Yeah, I don't think there's a place to dive down any deeper in there. So yeah, let's just get out of here. Go this way. Yeah, I think this is where we spawned at when we were inside of that pod and cut ourselves out. And this is the end of the cave. So yeah, we did it. We got the artifact and we got the pickaxe. And we got the blueprint. Forgot about the blueprint. Holy smokes, what an adventure. I've got bats. Now I want to head towards the coast because with any luck, we will find the actual blueprint that we came here for today, which is the armor upgrade blueprint. So I'm just gonna head towards the coast and hopefully something will pop up on the screen letting me know that I am close to it. And whereas I would love to have my flashlight out right now, I need to have the torch out because it's actually keeping me warm. Hey, almost out to the beach. Don't know what I'm looking for. And it's not like I'd be able to see it, even if uh, I knew what I was looking for. So, yeah, we should probably set up a little camp here and try to go to sleep. And in the morning, we will resume our search. All right, with any luck, we'll sleep through the night. Zero luck. Zero luck was had. Where? Oh, at least the moon's out. It's nice and bright out here, actually. Apparently, we're not alone. No, we are definitely not. Oh, my God, it's like three of them. Stay back or I'll shoot you. All right. You were warned. I've got a revolver. I'm not afraid to use it. Boom. Pow. Good. Good. No. Ow. You son of a bee. And take that. Just wanted to go to sleep. Why are y'all always messing with me? Reloading. Oh, yeah. He gets the point. He just fell down running in the snow. You're not getting away. Oh, man, this gun's got good stopping power. Okay, sweet. I think we all know what time it is. It is time for a fire. Time to collect some bones. Yeah, that revolver is sweet. I mean, these guys had mutant armor on and bone armor on, and I didn't have to use too many bullets at all to kill them. 
you guys drop any pouches? You did. Thank you. And that should keep us nice and warm while we go to sleep. Good night again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Didn't think anybody else would have the balls to come back. Uh, the fire went out before they all burned. But we do have some bones here. I'm not going to worry about the rest. Because I can't carry anymore. I think we're next to a cannibal camp here. Um, and I don't know where this blueprint is. It's somewhere around here. It's a little bit off the beach. Oh, yeah, look at all these guys. All right, guys, you don't have a cave in your camp, do you? I'm just going to run through and check real quick. Let's see what you've got around here. Uh, you've got a little thing there, and you've got that there. And, yeah, you know what? This is probably worth looting. Oh, yeah, Virginia showed up. I hear her gun going off. Get him, Virginia. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Oh, nice. Get her, Virginia. I missed again. Uh-huh. Get the big one. She's probably in charge. There we go. Just keep doing it. She's dead. She's dead. All right, come on, Virginia. We've got a camp to raid. Some uh, things and some more things right there. Here's some more things. Oh, batteries. That's actually good. Again, though, when it's snowing like this, I can't really see stuff as well. You'll miss some stuff that's in the ground under the snow. Another pouch. Boy, I've got to open these pouches. I think I've got like six or seven of them now. Ooh, some light bulbs. Dang it, I keep forgetting to drop my light bulbs off at home. I got some tape. I was looking for tape today. So I'm looking at my GPS now. Nothing has popped up. I'm trying to figure out where this thing is. I'm going to backtrack just a little bit and go this way. I think we got all the stuff that was valuable at the camp here, at least that I can see. You better get out of my face. Get out of my face. Okay, all right, my bad, my bad. Try it, get him, Virginia. How'd that feel? Oh, you just got got. Well, that's where we camped out at, right down there. I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. Maybe it's this way. You know what? There is something up here, actually. I'm like a mountain goat. Look at me go up this mountain. No problem. No problem. Yeah, there's definitely a mode of transportation over here, which could be something. I mean, you never know. Nope, it looks like it's just a golf cart. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this what I'm looking for? What do you have? Non-believer. Got stabbed to death. Oh, no, this is just a little frozen lake. I think I have found the location of where the armor upgrade is going to be, the blueprint for it. Unfortunately, we do not have entry into this bunker yet. But it's not a total loss. We did get the weapon upgrade today, so we'll go home and we'll make that instead. But yeah, that is definitely a bunker we're not allowed into yet. We have to progress the story some more. I didn't realize it was in that bunker. So, okay, well, let's go back home and we will make the weapon upgrade today. And we have Solifite, thanks to our new pickaxe, so we should be able to upgrade a weapon at least. I want to say that's like the final bunker we need to go into. So a bit premature on that, my bad. Here we go. Time to go home. On second thought, I did say that we were going to find a spotlight today. And so that today is not a total fail. Let's go get that spotlight at least. Oh, ow. That was a total fail. What are the odds that I just crash landed and I hear music? Turn that off. Turn that off. What do we have here? Guy's got a spear in him. Not good. What else do we have? Some batteries. Okay. Some food. Watch, printer resin, place to save our game. Okay, rest in peace, dude. We have two points of interest straight in front of us. One's like an orange icon, and the other one's a blue question mark. I believe we want to go to the blue question mark if we are going to find the spotlight. I'm not sure what this orange question mark is, but it could be another blueprint, so maybe we'll snatch it up while we're here. Why not? And then there's a flashing icon. And that is the next place we need to go to progress the story. That is the residential bunker. And we're not going to be doing that today, though. I'm pretty sure this video is long enough as it is. But yeah, we can go in here probably and get a blueprint. Let's see which one this is. I don't know. Because I wasn't actually planning on going in here. So let's see. We've got some bones. Okay. Let's keep going down until we see something. Or somebody. Uh, speaking of bodies, I'll take some. Oh, we need to replace. We need to replace the skulls back at home. So I've got three skulls on me at least. I think I can carry three skulls. I've got some tape here and some boxes. Chop them open. 
And here we have the blueprint for... Huh. I don't know. Some sort of effigy tower? I don't know what this is. Just put that in our back pocket. Well, would you look at that? We got ourselves a blueprint that I didn't even mean to get today. Everything's going exactly as the way I planned it. But I am hoping that that means this blue one is going to be the spotlight. Oh yeah, we got a dude here. Okay. Hey, dude. How are you? Probably going to die, right? Yep, there you go. You have any good loot around here? Nope, he's just kind of showing me that there's a cave here. And yeah, I'm guessing this is where the spotlight is. Hopefully, no enemies. But if there are some, we'll deal with it. It's weird. Most of the times you go in the cave, your uh, GPS doesn't work. But it is working in this cave. Interesting. But we don't need it. Man, I wish I had more room for rope. Can I break this metal door open? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Well, there's got to be something in here. Let's see. Some rags. Aha. Break that open. Bones. Another rag. Some wires. What's in here? Okay. Excuse me. Let me in. Aha. Cat food. Cat food. Cat food. Rags. There has got to be a way to get into this room right here because there's stuff in there. That's probably where the blueprint is. Oh, how about doing this? There we go. Break this. Huh? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Skeletons. Falling. That's that's fun. Ah, way down. Let's go down. Got some more solophyte here, but I can't carry anymore, so no point in busting it up. Ooh, down even further. All right, we're down. And aha! Spotlight! And that looks like that's going to be easy to make. 36 sticks, two wire, one rope, light bulbs, and a cloth. And we can have a spotlight. Yes! All right, let's get out of here. And now we are officially going home to make our weapon upgrading station and a spotlight. All right, the weapon upgrade station looks completely doable and it's small so we can keep this behind our wall here. In fact, I'll just put it over here, kind of covering up these uh, solar panels I have. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. So we're gonna need some stone, seven stone. And these are the big ones. So we're gonna have to come out here to the river and try to find some. One. Go ahead and send that back up. There's always unwelcome guests around here. Well, he'll die eventually. Throw that in. All right, I need three more. Let's go find three more. And three. Okay, back to the base. Okay, what's next? We need to put the turtle shells. I do have three on me, thank goodness. Four batteries? Ooh, I don't know. Do I have... Oh, I don't have enough batteries. Yeah, I don't have any batteries on the shelf or anything. All right, I got to go find a battery. I'm hoping there were batteries inside of this entertainment bunker which the entrance is really close to my base here. Kind of where that 3D printer was. I know there's supplies in that room that keep respawning. I'm hoping one of them was a battery. If not, I'm pretty sure the maintenance bunkers had batteries in them. And I will just have to, oh, here's one right here. Perfect, good, got one. And we don't need a battery for the spotlight, so that's good. Actually, we might, because you probably have to hook up a solar panel to it. And solar panels work great during the daytime, but at nighttime, they don't work at all. And that's when you want the spotlight. So yeah, I probably do need another battery. Let's go check inside of here really quick. Okay, do you have any batteries? Car uh, you know, golf cart batteries? Not those batteries. I need battery batteries. No, you don't. How dare you? Well, we might have to hold off on making the spotlight today, but at least we're getting this uh, weapon upgrade done. Battery, sticks, and three wire. Boom, it's done. Now we have to put solophyte in here. And that's why we went and got the pickaxe today. So we put six in there. And you might be thinking to yourself, put a gun in there, upgrade the guns, the shotgun, the, the revolver, whatever. But I think the weapon we end up using the most is this axe. Plus, it's not like I don't have more solophyte. We can upgrade a couple of things if it only costs six per. But what's going to happen next, I believe is not going to be pretty. We're going to get a bunch of mutants that are spawning in while this thing is upgrading. So, you know... We'll see what happens. I feel pretty secure here. Here goes nothing. All right, I put the ax in, and then now we have to turn it on. Good God. Okay, it's go time. 
Let me just get some ammo here off the shelf. Some slugs, some 9mm. Load up the shotgun. And let's see if we get any visitors. Yeah, that thing's cooking over there. Dude, that's pretty cool. It's like lightning, lightning striking it. Well, I don't see any mutants so far. Oh, oh my god, I do see uh, twinsy, uh, slinky things coming over here. And he's coming to the side of the base. Oh, they're pummeling Kelvin over there. Poor Kelvin. I should have had Kelvin follow me into the base before I started this. Oh, look at the solophytes in there just turning into liquid and bubbling. That is really neat. Okay, here we go. These guys are stuck on the spikes. Well, kind of. They're definitely taking damage. All right, that guy's down. Oh, something got pummeled over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not working out, is it, mutants? I'll just let my traps do their thing. I don't think I need to waste any ammo here. Maybe I'll shoot this one in the head. Oh, nope, he's backing up. He's backing up. He's taking damage from the spikes. I'm not too worried about it. On second thought, it might be time to help out because they keep spawning in mutants. It's not like it's just one wave of mutants. Like I thought maybe it would be. But it's not. You stop hitting my damn fence, would you? I'm gonna sneak around. Try to reset this trap right here. Really quickly. Okay. I'm gonna maybe shoot you in the freaking stomach. Maybe shoot you. Yeah, if I'm over here, I guess they'll try to come for me. Get them away from the wall a little bit. Oh, that one just died. Ah! Got him. And then you're going to die. And then you're going to die. All right, neither of those died. What if I stand here and dare them to come close to this swinging trap here, the hokey pokey trap? I'll take your armor. Ow, I'm getting electrocuted by my own traps. Yep, hokey pokey just went off. Oh, God. Okay, I'm getting spiked to death. Oh, God. I'm fine. I'm fine. There he goes. He's dead. Calvin, good to see you're still alive. I'm surprised by that, actually. Watch out for that spike ball, Calvin. Don't walk there. Oh, Calvin. Oh, I reset it just in time. All right, well, looks like we've got plenty of armor now. Mutant armor. I just try not to kill myself while I'm collecting it. But more importantly than stupid mutant armor, we should have an upgraded axe now because I think it's done. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, I think it's gold. It's hard to say because it's, uh, yeah, that's definitely a golden axe now. It's been upgraded. It's hard to say because it's uh, nighttime and I'm not getting good lighting. But I am pretty sure this is a gold axe in my hand. Yep, it certainly is a gold axe in my hand. And look at the buff that it added to the damage output. That orange bar next to the red bar is extra damage. So this thing, it looks like it added another 30% damage to this. So yeah, I can do this over and over again with all my weapons, guns, and uh, melee weapons. And I was trying to get the one for the armor today. But as you saw, we cannot get the armor upgrade until we get into that final bunker, which we will be doing eventually. We also got some spotlights, and I'll try to have those working before the next episode. Thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and if you did, don't forget to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and as always, it has been your boy Lagging24. Look how shiny it is. And I will see you uh, next time.